open up your uh, new C sharp file and we're gonna look into the uh, JavaScript how um, what we need here and uh, uh, we're gonna need chop time we're gonna need uh, text we're gonna need boolean to work with all right so those three we're gonna need so we can uh, pretty much just almost copy these but we're gonna reverse it because the, the in a C shop it's quite different way and this is uh, the variable is is uh, put in um, we're gonna say uh, uh, treat time or cut time all right so we have public public uh, cut time I believe that's how it's uh, oh no it's a uh, float cut time equals to three seconds another public and we're gonna have which is the text which is unity unity engine dot UI dot text and reference it to input text sam column and what else do we need here we're gonna need boolean all right so public so keep an eye on it public you don't have to have it but I like to keep eye on it under the inspector public uh, boolean is bull and C sharp and call it entrance semicolon save that so what I'm doing here is pretty much just copying almost copying everything from the uh, tree chop uh, uh, in JavaScript into the uh, uh, C sharp uh, misspelled the cutting it says cutting instead of cutting tree cutting tree <laughs> that's all right all right um, what's next so we gonna need the function start oh, looks like we have to do something inside the uh, uh, function update and a function update pretty much I can copy all this because it's almost the same if not the same as in the JavaScript so and then I'm gonna talk about it what it does so timer this part we don't need we'll need something else there later on alright so what does this do? This is the that's boolean entrance, and what this code says: if the entrance is true, do something. And there is another if statement: if input get key down q. In my up, uh, <coughs> I choose a q button. You can choose any uh, any button you want, and then. If that's done, then do something here. And here it says input that text, input text that text equals speech marks and nothing in between speech marks. Now I know what this is gonna do, but you know, if you haven't seen if you haven't seen the my uh, previous tutorial in uh, JavaScript, um, you might want to check them. But if not, uh, just bear with me, and then I'll explain everything what all this does I'm trying to speed up this since uh, I uh, made like seven videos and took me a few hours and I realized that those videos were really crappy and I had to remake everything so I'm trying to scramble everything trying to 
do this as fast as possible. So hit save. We can go to the Unity engine, find the uh, cube. So we're going to cut the cube. Find the why is it? Uh, it froze there for a second. Find this new C sharp file. Hey, what are you doing? Click on cube, find the C sharp file that we just made. Grab it, drop it into the inspector of the cube. Let's go back to our C sharp file. I mean, yep. And make a new function. This new function is going to be again same as here in JavaScript, a function on trigger enter. Alright. And we can actually copy the whole thing here. Except the function part. Because in C sharp it's void instead of function. So void paste and then here under the on trigger enter I'm gonna delete the first thing here it says call collider here we have to have it collider then call reference it to call and then in under if statement we have if Parentheses call dot game object dot tag uh, checks for the player. If you haven't, if you don't know how to tag the player, again, um, it's easy. Just go to the uh, Unity engine, find your player inspector, find the tag, All right? Click on the box here, add tag, type wherever you need to type in. Click on the play again. Uh, again under inspector find the tag click on the box find that whatever name you typed in click on that and that's how you tag it that's that tag that uh, this this line of code is checking if the uh, object object's name is this is tagged player then here we have again referencing into a boolean if in that case then mark the entrance as true like the uh, the argument is true and if the argument is true therefore do something here in this case I'm gonna uh, we're in, uh, presenting the text of that where uh, the tree is where the, where the tree is growing so let's see this in, in action real quick uh, everything is well okay so we have a growing tree if you get close to it nothing comes up why because we have probably forgot to do something well, that's good. Oh, yeah, sorry. Under the uh, inspector, find your canvas and the text. Grab the text and draw that text into the input text. I forgot to do that. Sorry about that. Hit play again. Get to the tree. See if it's going to work now. Nope, it's not working. Alright, why not? See, even the entrance is saying, okay, the argument is false, it's not true, so something went wrong. Okay, I'm going to uh, pause the video and I'm going to come back and figure out what's going on.